Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. Uh, I was going to wait a little bit till I record another one, but whatever. I'm playing anyway, so maybe instead of going back and showing you what I did, we can, can do it now real quick. Uh, so I think I'm going to kind of semi-reluctantly trade up this little skidster loader here because it's rad but I mean it's a little I need money or I want money and it's a little overkill like we're for the day we're way down and still I guess overall we'll start still down for 30 some odd thousand dollars uh, so I'm gonna trade him up and then maybe instead of a quick tour like if you didn't watch the last video I uh, bought a couple things or whatnot. And then yeah, then I moved the small mall over here. That's him again. So we'll clean up these guys real quick. Be good to go. By the morning, we should have a couple more chickens or so. We're gonna grab him again in a minute. I didn't even know we had a beacon. Uh, so we did buy this truck, and initially we had the three-point lifter. I did find out, kind of surprisingly, that this little front front lifter, whatever front loader, whatever it is, that it actually fits on the. Uh, It fits on the back of the truck. I didn't think it would because, like, when I was playing my other truck farming series, it seemed like the trucks that you had to uh, hook an additional bed to, they didn't let it work. So, this the front lifter. And then we might as well, a couple other things, might as well jump in it. And then, because I can't remember what exactly I showed in the last video, I think I bought a couple more things after that, but I bought a couple of, uh, the tanks for the milk I haven't filled them up yet but they're another one that it's a it's a front lifter milk I don't know which way it would be easier to show you if I go in here if I go in the store but it's these ones three point tanks so I mean you can go in the front or the back depending on where your three point is but they are it holds 2,000 2, liters so they can get or they are very heavy when they're they're full, so it was like small tractors. Like I used to use them to like for water to give animals water. Like when you go to lower, raise the thing. Sometimes the tractor can be doing wheelies and whatnot. So I'll right, put him back. Put him back later. So that was that. Probably could just fast travel to the shop. It would have been easier. So now we're gonna sell sell all this stuff so there we go that's more like it now we're kind of technically only down not even 10,000 so I can't remember where it was I think I'm gonna get this because technically all I need to do is get this stuff oh yeah I can change colors Technically, all I need to do is uh, really is get the chick, the egg pallet out of the, that small garage for the chickens, and then move wool around every now and then. I think you can actually get in this and drive it. Yep. So it's just like a vehicle, I guess. Uh, it might take a while though. So maybe this is going to be the whole video. Can you do cruise control? Yes. But what I don't know is if you can do, uh, can I like put it on like a front loader or something so it doesn't take a week and a half to get over there or tow it or something. 
because this might take a minute. <laughs> Do I got headlights? Nope, no headlights. Um, and actually the grass, the one that we would be able to use probably is all the way over by the, uh, actually, let's try that before we take seven days to drive over there with that thing. Let's attempt to get in the quad. Pick up this guy. Tell the uh, tell the lawnmower to piss off for now. <laughs> and then try and see if that thing will drive up onto this thing. Then it won't take quite as long. We do gotta watch out though, because it's fueled up around the corner, right? Is the one that I bought, and it's ready. I already did screw it up a little bit when I was trying to throw down fertilizer. We'll see that when we go to harvest it in a minute. Because that was, oops, after we transport this lifter over to the sheep farm. I was gonna start harvesting this field. I think, instead of that, or we'll fast forward time and wait till the morning, and then I'll be ready. I was just with you. Pretty skittish. Just goes tries to go so fast. All right, now. Can we? Let's try and lift that up as high as I can. And then can we drive this up on top of there? Probably should back it up again, but we'll try going forward first. Dun dun dun! dun. Um, I'm gonna go with a no. <laughs> Not that way. So can we go this way? Seems to be the way it has to work with a lot of the vehicles. It like sinks into the ground. Almost. Yeah! Alright, turn off the engine and hope it doesn't fly out. Rock and roll. Now we can bring him over there and he can be the one that moves the stuff around. Instead of a $25,000 skidster loader that just sits idle for days on end. <coughs> Don't want to take out the crops or throw the thing out of here. Harvesting should be interesting too because I screwed all that up and tried to trade out the harvester. But jokes on me. The one that the mod I provided you with is probably the only one that really works on this map. <laughs> now. First, let's get him out of here. Attempt to. 
Alright. Get him out of the way for momentarily. Turn that engine off. And try and park this thing again. Which is a little bit of a chore. Well, at least with not too bad when there's not full wheat. No wheat. Wool. Get out of the way, Baylor. Probably should just leave the lawnmower over there and park the trailer elsewhere. Eventually we'll do that probably, but right now it's not a big issue. Real life, there would be trailers and all kinds of stuff parked outside, but I try to keep it under under cover. I got rooster. I'm trying to avoid running over the chickens anymore. Just glitches right through them anyway. Speaking of which, have we made any? Should we get pretty close to uh, making chickens? Uh, three, six, nine, ten. Nope, not yet. Two hours. So before before the morning, we'll have at least three more chickens. Uh, like three more days, we'll have one of those. Actually, it's usually more than one. So three more days, we'll have a few more sheep. Quite a while on the cows. This is weird too. Like they must be doing like the horses. It's like they uh they're changing colors. The cows on the field are not black and white. There's a mixture. So now let's see how are we going to do this one. Can we fit through any of these streets without putting the, this on the trailer header? Header trailer. <laughs> I'm going to get myself stuck is what's going to go on. Some so we might be able to run over. Alright, so far so good. Don't want to open their mouth, but. Alright, we made it. I think so, because I think we'll get over that. Yep. Glitches through signs, so. Come all the way over here and we can start on this end of the field. This field is ours now. I don't know what it does to that head. I like putting it as far out and down as possible. It probably would have to do with elevation of the field if it's a lot of hills and stuff in it, but what is our uh what does this field look like? It's pretty pretty square. And I did almost kind of wait till the morning, so I could have just plowed straight through all three of these fields. But I think the price of soybean is going up, too. So, yeah, it's like we'll see what happens. We'll try and sell some tonight and some tomorrow and see which one's a better price. So now that we got it back on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, real time here. around of the thing. I wanted to see if it was fertilized at all. I don't think so. Yeah, and like the other reason why I bought it or saw what I bought it is I saw like when I first looked and it said it needed lime and I think after I harvest these all of my fields they're probably gonna need lime. I didn't turn liming off, so that should be every three times, I think it is. So I think this is going to be the third harvest for 
14, 16, 17. And maybe... I can't remember if I bought 19 later if it, or if you started the game with that. But anyway, a couple of mine are probably ready for lime as well. So let's uh, turn around. Yeah, and it's the unfold harvester. This is soybean, so no swath we need to worry about. Going straight. Yeah, we'll see when we get farther up. I try to run over it real quick to fertilize it. Even though I know I, I knew I had crop destruction on, but I couldn't remember if you got destruction in the first stage of growth, like it is over there, or like a. I mean, it looks smaller than that when I ran over it. I think, but yeah, you see the little arc I went through it. Like whoops. I'm gonna have to bring a trailer over here because I doubt this thing's gonna hold this whole field. Try and do a lot of this in car. There's another one, the bison is another good one for being able to see what you're doing. Especially like this because there's no no cab or no pipes in front of you. That's why I run it that way. Super hot again tomorrow. I'm kind of hanging out, trying to get some of this done. Get some. Maybe go fill out and drop off another application after tools off a little bit. And now we can check out our. That's cool too. Now we can check out our sheep while we're harvesting. I might even be able to see whether it's uh let me see if I can see whether it's clean or dirty. Oh right, and hold on. When I turn around I don't know if I, I don't think I ever did show but I did end up buying some lights and stuff for the like around animal pens and stuff. So Turn this off for a second. And turn the lights off. Yes, I can't even I can't even tell, like I ended up going with these things instead of like the uh the other taller one. Where is it? So this one's under decoration. Miscellaneous is where the other lights are that I think they're all mods that you would have to try to get a mod up first, but couple of them are just like light packs like this is the one I usually use this floodlight that's pretty good but I was checking out the other ones and the light that I'm using now or pretty sure it's within decoration and there was like normal there was small ones big ones yeah you know, a lot of this stuff it's where you it's you like download a pack for like decorations or something and you get eight bazillion bazillion things so some of these I may have to I'm, when I deleted some of my mods I was hesitant to, to delete I'm talking too damn much I was hesitant to delete uh, some of these ones because some of them are on my flat map which I might go back to shortly here so it's one of the ads this one so I have the 360 big automatic and then they have where you turn them on and off and same thing with these would just be not 360 degrees so like 
I was trying to line it up right, but I guess it really didn't matter because it's 360, but that's why this whole entire area is lit up and bright like this. They're super bright, too. So yeah, it lights up half my field, even. So, it took a while to mess around with that, uh, skidster loader and everything, and I talked to him next to him. We won't get the field done in the video. Have I uh, sold anything today? Harvest wise, 15,116. So if you really want to see how much I sold, you can remember that and maybe the next video we can look at how much I sold the previous day. We'll see. Maybe I won't even upload this one. Just erase it. So I'm trying, I was trying to get a bunch done before I start another one, but might want to see that. And might want to see harvesting that night. I'm still going to have to drag a uh, trailer or something over here. Truck. Should actually, we'll bring the Fiat over here. Should definitely all fit in there. We're still only halfway full. say half empty but I guess I would say halfway full at this time because I'm filling it up and I might say half empty when I was dumping it something like that probably not let's say half full probably get 5,500 <coughs> somewhere around there so I mean that'll still be maybe 11 grand or so yeah it's almost it seems to like in this game on the quarter hours is when it the lighting changes I think this is the darkest it gets though. I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe it gets one more stage dark. Because I know it got darker than some of the other, like 15 or 17 or whatever. So it, when it was dark out, it still really wasn't dark out. Yeah, that's like lit up like the sky over there. Those things are bright. And I put a couple. I put one by the silage pit and then one by uh, the cows. I feel like there's. I feel like I have four of them. So maybe I put two of them by. Maybe there's two over here. Maybe there's one up on the higher end, up by the chickens. It doesn't look like it. Nice up along there. This way.
fairly full. Thank you for watching and subscribing, everybody. Let's we'll see how we are. Uh, what we end up doing as far as recording. What you like more, harvesting or grass work or animal work? Or... I try and show little bits of everything, so it's like I'm sure you don't want to watch me harvest for six episodes in a row. Or grass or stuff like that, so kind of almost like trying to show what I'm in the process of, and it's like I'll get back to you when I'm, I'm done with the... <laughs> hours of work <laughs> I have to finish all this stuff on the next stage I'm doing this I'll finish it later See, that's, a, that's how little soybeans yield but I thought I was going to fill up on that other pass, but they bring in a lot of money. I think watching somebody's video from a long time ago, I think this is, soybeans are actually supposed to be one of the worst crops, but that still doesn't make any sense to me. Because they still do make a lot of money, even though it's yielding very little. They'll make a lot. Like for example, let's just compare this. Like this full is 3,400. To say it an even two, that's 6,800 dollars. So you would need like 7,000 liters of wheat, for example, or something to. Meet the same price, which. I mean, by that time, like, may have been, because wheat yields a lot more, but it seems like soybeans are still more bang for your buck, even though you yield less, and it's just more gratification of earning more money. Drop him off there and bring the Fiat over, or the Fiat truck. This is our uh... I still gotta remember in my options to change the field of view. I'm gonna go straight across because it's easier. edge of my truck.